We were visiting a few weeks ago with someone sitting in the hot seat, and she was talking about wanting to come to this particular event. It was in Chicago. And she was using her wisdom, and we don't encourage you to overextend yourselves. There's a nice thing in the balance between what comes in and what goes out. And if it feels uncomfortable, then we don't encourage pushing yourself forward. There are some people that say, if you do the uncomfortable thing long enough, it will become comfortable, but it is really a difficult way to go about it. So she wanted to come to this seminar and did not have the money to do it. And so she was visiting with a friend and they decided to take a walk. And it was a friend who was also an Abraham student. And so they were talking about law of attraction and such things. And while they were walking out on the trail, something caught her eye in the rather deep leaves off on the edge and something shining. And she reached in and came out with a very large earring, diamond earring. And they wondered it could not possibly be real. It was far too big, but it was. And when she redeemed it, it had a value of $9,000. And so she was exhilarated because she was in this soft desire, not an urgent desire, not a, I will die if I don't get it desire, but this soft place of, I would like this. And as you said, I'm going to allow the universe to revealed to me and I will get into the reception mode so that I can receive or perceive it. So there she was. Now, what are the odds of that? Well, the odds are 100% when you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on.